scream and spit. Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report here at the range. We got a few things to talk about today. First, let's talk about this uh, Inceptor. Let's get out of the shadow there. Inceptor ARX self defense ammunition. This is from Polycase. Uh, this box has got 20 rounds of 45, and you can see through there it's um, Polycase. It's actually a brass case with a polymer molded bullet. We've got a magazine here loaded with eight rounds of this Polycase ammo. We're going to give that a try in a 1911. This is Ruger SR 1911. The magazine. Uh, we're reviewing this as well. It's a Surefire magazine from GunPro. And the, the interesting thing about this magazine is it has a bit of a, a little finger sticking up here that pokes in as the round is coming up. They call it an anti-nose dive magazine. So it keeps the round uh, pushed up as it goes into the chamber of the 1911 so it feeds better. And actually, I've, I've shot with this magazine a good little bit versus some of my other 1911 magazines and I have better luck with it. I, I have a smoother feeding. Uh, it's going to be interesting today because the Ruger SR 1911, this is the full size version, got a couple different things going on here. The Recover Tactical Grip here, this is the CC3 in um, is this Desert Tan or Coyote Brown. I think it's Coyote Brown, I can't remember. Um, just put this on this morning. We had it on for a while before, uh, but I don't have a holster that fits it, so I had taken it off, put it back on for this test. So we can mount the, let's get so you can read it, the Shot Track HDX. This is a 1080p digital video camera with a built in uh, red laser as well. So we have both uh, a laser sighting uh, pointing device and uh, 1080p video recording and also see if we can see this direction the sights here also from gun pro we have a triangle in the back and then a notch in the front that will line up very bright very easy to see uh, jason tried these on a glock and actually couldn't get the hang of them i've only shot you know 20 30 rounds with this since these were put on it on the 1911 but really like it so far we'll see how they do today the other thing we're we're testing you see we have an extended barrel that's threaded we have an end cap on it now this is from storm lake barrels uh, division of remington this is their unramped 1911 barrel with the threaded end this is going to be one of our suppressor hosts for the gemtech gm 45 uh, when we finally get permission to pick that up from the SOT FFL. So those are the different things we're going to test today. We're going to shoot this. We want to see how this new barrel does in the SR 1911. We want to see how the um, Inceptor ARX from Polycase does. Uh, we've used this Gun Pro Surefire magazine several times and had great luck with it. I'm sure that's going to continue to do well. And uh, you know what? Why don't we capture some video with this as well? I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and I see the red light. I don't know if you can see the red light up under there where the video is recording now. So uh, I should probably take the cap off. There we go, the lens cap is off, so now we should get video. Uh, maybe I can overlay some of that video on here so we can see how that looks compared to what we see there. So, let me put this box in my pocket. We got a target set up here, and uh, this is seven yards roughly, so I'm gonna stand at seven yards and uh, see how I do on this target with the Ruger SR 1911 with the Storm Lake extended threaded barrel. All right, no feed issues. Everything operated very smoothly. That's nice. Sometimes, you know, you drop a new barrel in and uh, there are questions as to how well it's going to work. Let's uh, go up and get a look at the target. And you can see, not too bad, seven yards, uh, brand new barrel. First couple shots were up here. 
and then I brought it in had a couple uh, one high and one low when I picked up the pace a little bit but you know ended up here chewing up the center so uh, so far so good I'll, I'll tell you I'm not gonna criticize Jason because everyone's different in what you like and what you're used to this sight picture you see here it really works for me it's just natural uh, for Jason he shot so long with the typical Glock sights uh, that he had a little issues uh, had, had a bit of an issue adjusting to these uh, actually couldn't do it eventually gave up all right this is seven yards with the Ruger SR 1911 in the tactical recover CC3 grip with the shot track HDX 1080 video camera the Storm Lake threaded drop-in barrel and Delta sights from GunPro US so we're kind of tricked out here we're shooting a 230 grain Winchester with the GunPro Surefire magazine. This is going to be 10 yards. Uh, I got one camera on the target and then the shot track HD is going to film. Let me turn that on. Uh, all right, we're on video there, so we're going to film as well. left edge of the circle. Well, that's not too bad. So my aim point was here. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six of the eight right within here. I did wander off just a touch. Not too bad for 10 yards. Uh, for a gun, I don't shoot much. With a brand new barrel, brand new grip, different sights. I mean, all kind of new stuff going on here. So uh, overall, I got to say I'm very happy. All right, folks, we're going to try something a little bit different here. So I've got the camera set up between me and the target. We are at, uh, let's see, 710. We're at 15 yards here from our uh, full-size silhouette target down there. Uh, target's kind of chewed up. I'm going to aim for about 11 o'clock, the edge of the circle. And I'm going to do it by looking at the video screen here. Let's see if this works. I want to see if we can see how these sights line up. Ooh, I don't know if I have a good enough picture for this. We'll we'll give her a shot though. There we go. Fighting the glare on the screen a little bit. Alright, we're locked open. There you have it, folks. Ruger SR 1911 with the new Storm Lake extended and threaded barrel using the Gun Pro US Delta sights. Let's see how we did. I gotta be honest with you, this may not be pretty, so uh, we're gonna have to see how, how well I was able to aim. Actually, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I really couldn't see well with the glare from the, the sun was behind the camera. So trying to look at the little screen and line the sights up. One, two, three, four. I think that was five. We had eight shots. It wouldn't surprise me if a couple of them went off the edge here. Yeah, and those were all from a prior group. So, you know, I was aiming right here, trying to, and hitting five of them in there with the sight picture. I was able to get... Uh, not, not real great looking through the screen, but hopefully it paid off and you were able to see what the sight picture alignment is on the Delta sights. We, we've already talked about all the equipment that, that we've got here today. So now let's just look at the results. So seven yards, first shots out of this brand new barrel and everything seemed to be, had a couple that, get, that got a little bit outside, but 
but seem to be grouping pretty good. Maybe just a touch to the left here at this same point. I wasn't getting that left or right. Seem to be pretty good in line. I got a little high and low, so I'm getting used to the sights. At 10 yards, tended to come a little bit left, but overall still pretty good. You know, getting that kind of fist size group. And uh, you can see again at 10 yards, uh, I had a camera sitting right here. <laughs> so you can see I kind of pulled towards that camera a little bit kind of like when you're when you're playing golf and you know the water hazards there and you got to hit the ball to the right but you put it to the left because that's where the water is and that's what you're thinking about I think we see a little bit of that happening here as I drifted as I was worrying about shooting my camera overall so what did we see the poly case inceptor rx ammo m45 uh, ran flawlessly through this I'll give some of that credit to the ammo some of it to the gun pro surefire anti nose dive 1911 magazine i've used it with probably three or four different types of ammo in the ruger sr 1911 with the stock barrel now with this uh, storm lake drop-in replacement barrel and had absolutely no problems ever when shooting something with this all right when shooting ammo with, with the uh, surefire i have some metcar mags i have some ruger uh, factory mags that i have had issues with so those issues go away when I switch to this magazine. Honestly, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, the little anti-nose dive finger they have sticking up here. Wasn't sure it was actually going to make a difference, but in probably, you know, a few hundred rounds that I've shot with this, uh, I've had absolutely no issues where I'm typically, every 10 or 12 rounds or so, I'd have one that didn't feed right before using any of the other magazines I have. So Gun Pro, Surefire, anti-nose dive magazines, I got to give them a thumbs up. I uh, didn't know that I was going to like it, but uh, it actually proved to be very nice. I like that. The uh, Recover Tactical CC3 grip that gives a rail. See, this is a big deal. That's why I put it on today, is I wanted to be able to use the Shot Track um, HDX camera while I was shooting today. So I went and dug this out of my parts bin because <laughs> I'd taken it off before because I didn't have a holster that would fit in. Um, glad I put it on. It feels good in the hand. I mean, it's, it's a hard plastic and, you know, I had wondered how's it going to feel? Is it going to cut into my hand or anything? Felt really nice. I love, you see the cutout here. There's one on the other side as well to operate the mag release and it just fits my hand nicely. So I really like that. Um, Shot Track HDX. We're going to see what the video looks like on that. Uh, maybe I'll be able to overlay some of that video on top of what while we're talking here the storm lake barrel i'll tell you um, in my glock 17 i have a barrel from another manufacturer that i dropped in and i have i don't know one in 10 one in 12 somewhere in there uh shots i'll get a, a feed jam i think part of that has to do with one of the magazines i was using come to think of it when i switched when i put that old gen 1 10 round magazine away and used only the newer Gen 4 magazines, I didn't have any of those issues. So maybe it wasn't the barrel, but regardless, using a drop-in barrel previously, I'd had an experience that wasn't 100% reliable, so I was nervous about dropping this in. This needs to run well, because we're going to test suppressors on it. So if it has problems running in standard configuration, you hang the weight of the GM45 can off the end of it from Gemtech, and I was afraid we may have a little bit. Oh, look at that! Red was a little loose from shooting. I gotta gotta keep mindful of that. Uh, but if it doesn't run well, <laughs> if it doesn't run well without the can, it's probably not going to run well with the can. So very relieved to see that it ran flawlessly. You can see the accuracy is very good. And uh, talking again about GunPro US and their Delta sights, guys. I apologize it took so long to get around to this. You sent me the sights initially. Um, right as I had some issues with this Ruger and it had to go back to the factory. So it sat for a while, it went back in the queue. Then we had issues getting them installed, which uh, my gunsmith tells me had to do with Ruger not machining this dovetail flat. There was a little issue, a bump in the middle that the Delta sights got caught in. They couldn't be pushed in the whole way, they couldn't be pushed out, they actually had to be milled out, destroying the site. GunPro US was nice enough to send us another one. Um, honestly, you know, it wasn't their fault because once the site was out and we looked in there, it was like, oh yeah, there's a there's an inconsistency in how the, the dovetail.
know it was machined and that's what it got caught on. It wasn't the site's fault. I uh, got the new one put in and then um, it, it didn't fit into our review schedule anytime soon. So guys, I apologize. Um, now that I'm using them, I wish I'd been shooting it more all along because I really like these sights. Uh, I hope that you will make this, you know, add some glowing material so that these are more of a night sight as well. During the day, this, the day glow colors are very easy to see. I love how the points line up so that you know exactly. You have a very fine granular control uh, of where, where you're aiming, where your impact's going to be. The two triangles work together to guide you into getting that aim refined. It's really an ingenious little setup. And I like it, so thanks for thanks for sending a couple sets for us to try. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Go check us out at gearreport.com. It's gear-report.com. And look for us on all your social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MeWe, Gun District. We're all over the place. So please let us know what you like or don't like about the video. And we'll see you at the range.